Ooh. Welcome back, everyone. This is episode nine of Find Music. Yes, we're going to help you find music in more than one way, as always. Uh, in the last episode, you learned about the California sound and that Poco is a great way to check out that California sound. And another thing we do is introduce you to artists that you may not have heard of. And that's what, what's the guy's name again? Bill. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me get rid of this distraction. Okay. I don't need any extended warranty. Okay. All right. Does everybody get those calls? Yeah. All right. Back to where we were. Uh, Fred. No, no. Bill is going to introduce you to a band you may not have heard of. Go ahead, Bill. Okay. And the, and the band I want to introduce is R, I guess is R, the Canals, uh, which uh, I actually got introduced to them and I'm actually wearing my old college t-shirt because that's where I first uh, met them. And I actually literally did meet them, which was kind of cool. Um, but at any rate, um, I sort of compare them and, and it's interesting because REM, which formed in 1980, uh, out of Georgia, and they were all at the university there, uh, and sort of started that whole Georgia sound, you know, m morphing into other bands and, and that sort of thing. REM actually began in Raleigh, a little bit north, in Raleigh, North Carolina, and they started up in 84, a few years after uh, REM had already started up. Uh, and almost inevitably, they were compared to REM. Although it's kind of interesting because if you look at like where REM used more kind of their, their lyrics are very allegorical. Uh, the uh, canals were a little more direct, um, kind of hitting on their sort of Celtic roots, that kind of thing. Um, and then the sound, even though it is similar, they were sort of closer to the birds than anything else because they're, they're they had a, a guitarist who loved using the 12 string Rickenbacker. Um, but at any rate, uh, this is uh, the canals. And, and like I say, I literally got to meet them because I was on the school newspaper when they came and played at my campus. So I got to interview them, which was a lot of fun for me. Uh, they do, uh, they are credited with sort of reflecting the history of the culture of the American South. Uh, and of course that influenced the birds uh, whereas it, it's kind of interesting because um, where REM broke up, I guess in 2011 is what I've got is when they officially broke up. Uh, the Canals, although they don't regularly play, they, they do still stay out toward the East Coast. I noticed in January, they're starting a whole tour in the Philadelphia, Jersey area, probably going down into North Carolina, which is of course where they're from. Um, but um, what, uh, what I wanted to do was share some of their music. So let me see, let me stop the share uh, and make sure I've got the, uh, the sound right. How do you pronounce the name of the band again? Canels, C-O-N-N-E-L-L-S. Yeah. Canels, okay. Uh, Wanted to get that right. Let me make sure, let's see. Can you still hear me okay there? No, doesn't sound like it. Am I coming through? I'm hearing you clearly. Okay, good. So this should be able to uh, do this. So uh, the first thing I wanted to play, and let me go ahead and share the screen as well, uh, is um, from one of their early albums. This is Fun and Games. Uh, and it's one of the first I heard from them. Uh, and you can sort of hear the similarities between the music, if not the lyrics and the vocals between these guys and R.E.M. <laughs> Thank you. 
a long snip, dude. <laughs> so uh, you getting the copyright trouble? Don't blame me. <laughs> at any rate, that's that's one of their early songs, and you can sort of hear the, hear the similarities between them. Yeah, I, I think they're more tuneful. They sound more tuneful, actually. Yeah, uh, uh, now this is actually they they released an album earlier this year, so I assume this is the one they're spotlighting now, and this is one of the uh, you know a segment off that album and their ch their sound really hasn't changed a whole lot you want to hear it in this this is Stedman's Wake is the name of the album obviously and Rustic Fields is a particular song So at any rate, there's a couple of segments. So that's from their last album, which just came out earlier this year, or not real early, I think midsummer or something like that. Uh, but I've always, I've always enjoyed their music. I've got several of their albums. Um, just here again, I'm a big REM fan, so it would only follow. I would like these guys as well. Great. They do have a best of album too, by the way, which is a, is very, they're very easily found on Amazon and obviously YouTube. You can find their stuff pretty easily as well. But uh, I, I always like uh, just getting the albums myself. So that's the canals. They got a great sound. I love their sound. They're, like I said, they're more tuneful. Uh, the vocals are just smoother. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah. I, just, I like I just I like don't them. have the sex appeal REM they're all right they're all right they're all right you know the vocal I, know, I love REM I think they're, uh, they're yeah good. they're they're okay they're all right they, have, they got some real hits you know they had some real hits yeah all right it's the end of the episode if you know it so uh we're gonna switch off in just a few seconds but remember if you like REM Bill says check out the Connells Oh, yeah.